let's take a look at this one here. So finding cut and fill volumes. And so here we're given that squiggly line and we're asked to find what is the average haul distance from stations 40 through the second transition point. So we're looking at a mass haul diagram. We're at station 40 right here. And we're told that this volume, okay, is 40,000, is 30,000 cubic yards, right? So we have 30,000 cubic yards of material here. So that's our maximum amount. So we have our 30,000. So the mass hole diagram rec represents the excavation or cut of nearly 30,000 cubic yards between station 40 and the upward balance point at 100. So this is our station 100 now. Why? Because that's the upward balance point. What does that mean? Well, upward means we're going up. We read from left to right, and our number line goes from left to right. So if we're at 40 here, we're going to go upward, and we're moving from left to right, and that's why it's 100. So we have that there. So we have 6,000 feet of work, right? And then there's an embankment of nearly 40,000 cubic yards to the upward transition point at station 130. So we have an embankment or a fill. So there it goes to the halfway point. So we're visualizing this, and that station is 130. So next we move to this and see that we have our parts and pieces to this. And so what we want to do is find the average haul distance from the stations. Okay, we have the average haul distance between the stations. So we strike out, if this is halfway, we're just visualizing. It doesn't have to be precise. Take a look at the answers here. It's a significant as spread. And so we have a halfway point, meaning that this line here and the intersecting line goes down into the X, our y goes down to the x, and now we can manage precisely what's going on. We know that we have 6,000 feet, so it's 3,000 feet on the one side, and 3,000 feet on the other side. And so we can then pick this up and s sort of bring our analysis to this, and what we see here is we have 4,000 feet here is our average haul distance, right? We're clear in understanding that. And when we evaluate this, remember there's 10,000 cubic yards here because the total fill is our 30,000 plus our 10, right? That's what's given to us. We have 40,000 cubic yards of embankment. Embankment means fill. So we have our 10,000 cubic yards here, and we do the same thing. We divide this line up. All right, so if we took the average amount here, the average would be here. And so in this case, we see that we have a total of 2,000 feet here, all right, and the 4,000. So we have 2,000 and our 4,000. I give you a cleaner illustration of this, but we can do what we just did. So we have our, our, our 2,000 feet here, our 4,000 feet here. And now we're going to conclude that we're going to add the averages together. And it's 6,000 feet as a total. All right, so our average hole distance is 6,000 feet, and that's primarily the objective of what we're seeing here. Okay. All right, so there's a few comments here, Jay, saying your average hole distance is always two-thirds of the total distance from station. Well, it appears that way, but you know you may have a problem that's different. Okay, so yes, here it's two thirds, right? And so to this point here, you're right. But we're 
we're looking at it from a mathematical perspective. Okay, so it's not a random adjustment. It's if this is 3,000 feet, we all know how to dissect a line visually in thirds, right? So it's one, two, three. So it's one, two, and three. One, two, and three. The average is the intersection of where our y and our x meet right there. And so mathematically, we can do this. Whenever we looked at any type of a graph, we can do this. And that gives us our ability to uh, find the, uh, the x and the y for these. OK, so that's primarily what we're doing there. All right, so does that answer your question? So this is once again one, and this is two and three. So you have 2,000 feet here and the 4,000. All right, now this is another question. Can you repeat why we will use half of the cubic yards? Well, one half is equal to the average, right? The question asks for the average, right? So if we have if we have 30,000 cubic yards and we were asked to find what the average is, we divide by 2, right? 30,000 divided by 2 is equal to our average. Okay? All right, does that answer your question? Next, uh, why on the second curve we only divide by the distance by 2? Because the problem tells us we're only going to 130. To the upward transition point at 130. So the transition point, we're labeling all these pieces. That's my transition point. Okay. All right, so that's why we did that. We didn't go to the balance point. Okay, we remember what these points are all about. So that's our transition point, not our balance point. So that's why we've got that. This is our halfway point right there. All right, so that's what tells us. And if this is 3,000 feet, right, and it is 3,000 feet, then I'm taking one, and then you got 2,000 feet here, 1,000 feet here, similar to what I did in the other section. So this is our transition point. This is our balance point. This is a balance point. This is our starting point at station 40. OK. All right, does everybody have their answer? OK, perfect.